That was rough, though. Might have to do some random dungeons here. What if I have any new ones? Well, we got some new equipment, so that'll help. Ah, can I help you? Okay, so we've got iron orbs, which are crazy expensive. Oh, there goes all my money. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna throw it on everybody currently in the party, and everybody else not in the party is gonna have to deal with it. Ah, are you off then? And I assume we've got some new weapons to go with, yeah. Wonder if any of these have uh, special effects. Probably do. So, let's see. Luckily, we don't need all of them. Like that, eh, yeah, I guess we do need all of them. They are, they are benefits across the board. Unfortunately, we're gonna need some, uh, some more money. Okay, uh, so what do we do? Oh, is this, is this shop open? A uh, bit of time to warm up, come back later. All right, fine. Let's go see the king, maybe afterwards. Or her? Lady Desdemona. The prince's hearing is to be held in the throne room. The necessary preparations are being made as we speak. Thank you. Desdemona, you have to let us be there. We're going mad worrying about what's been going on with C Cesar. Outsiders aren't usually allowed into proceedings like these without the High King's permission. But you two did play a per critical, uh, crucial role in all this. All right, I'll talk to his radiance and see what I can do. Thanks, Desdemona. In the meantime, why don't you two take a look around town? It looks like a few new places have opened up shops since we were last here. I mean, really? I guess we can go in here. Maybe have a new, like, random dungeon, or... Oh! Oh, the class changer guy! Okay. Okay, Shulker Hulk's vocation. You'll need to visit the ab ab abbot of uh, trades or whatever. New vocations will open up new weapons to try, new skills to master, and a whole range of new playstyles. Start each vocation from level one. Ooh. Okay. So what vocations do we have? Martial artist. So, ah! Okay, so warrior can equip dual swords, swords, and axes. Versus staves, claws. Uh, rods, more rods and whips. Priests, rods, staves, and whatever, and thief. Okay, so some of these are actually pretty interesting. Unfortunately, if we reset to the beginning, that's gonna suck. I think we're going to have to wait later. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to do that yet. And I assume she has the same, same stuff. Yeah, priestess and whatever. There might be some reasons to switch. Probably some special abilities. But right now, don't care. Yeah, max them all. I'll probably max them all later when we have... Um, when we have more grinding maps to go with. Because like currently, all we have is the magic maze. And generally, those are going to be the best places for me to get experience uh, to begin with. Okay, so we have random quests. The Seven Realms needs your help. Okay, bridging the gap, smoldering boulders, and patrolling pastures. Okay, so could you borrow a few things from the mod? I guess I'll read these. Guess who just landed a big project to, to prepare the greener pastures, Grand Dunes Bridge. Materials don't come cheap though. Could you borrow a few things from the, uh, some monsters? Okay, so we've already got these. Unfortunately, it seems like the side quests are all kind of boring. Okay, smoldering boulders. Gotta kill a bunch of these guys. No time limit. Alright, well that's easy enough. Okay, I'm patrolling the pastures. Uh, this one has a time limit. Uh, sure, I'll accept it. Yeah, part of the reason why I'm not particularly interested in, um, in, uh, switching out, uh, the main character's class is because I'm going to be using the main character almost never. 
like, he's kind of this just B-lister side character that I'm gonna be using while I play as all of the, uh, all of the other characters instead. I don't dislike him. He's just uninteresting to me. We've got other characters that I'm way more interested in using. I'm not actually sure if completing these side quests is really that useful and necessary. If you Let's switch to Maribel for this one. Okay, she's got a much wider sweep. Okay. I'm not entirely sure how many of these guys we're supposed to kill. Probably getting pretty close. I think I've beaten all the Slime Knights. Either way, we've got a small crew right here. One way or another, this... This has got to be enough uh, Slime Knights here. Okay. Now we've got to kill a couple more Platypunks. Looks like there's a big group there. Small group there. It'll be fine. Oh, these are the dumb cat things. Oh, Platypunks already dead. Okay, there's another group. Unfortunately, these enemies are not exactly what I call, uh, the most threatening, to be totally honest. Are we done yet? We're not done yet. We gotta be close, close to done. We gotta be done with the Slime Knights after this. They do not fight back, though. Not even close. Okay. Do we got any more Platypunks over here? We've got at least one. And missed, and that's okay. Hopefully it, like, tells me. Wouldn't that be awful if uh, you were not actually informed whether or not you finished the quest so you have to make it back within the time limit, too? Okay, congrats, we completed the quest. Awesome. So let's just zoom back to Accordia. I don't know if I'm gonna do the other ones. I guess it's actually, it doesn't take too long. There's like, uh... Let's see. Oh! Oh, that's a good point. If you keep with the warrior, you'll unlock something better anyway. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, there probably are intermediate uh, quests here. Ugh. Alright, whatever. Okay, Alchemy Hut. Uh, soup up your accessories using all sorts of ingredients. Okay. So let's see what I can make. Get started here, slime earrings, slime drop, sprigs of cotton top. Pop that in the cauldron together and you'll see what the alchemy is all about. Let's get down to business. Okay, so we can do slime earrings. Gold ring, damage will blocking, coup de gras damage. Okay, uh, let's do helping hand from Helix. Okay, oh, so it's like a root, so you can upgrade them actually, possibly substantially. Okay, uh, butterfly wings. No. Sure. Okay, good, we don't have to see it. And then it's cotton top and some other things, so... So yeah, there's like an upgrade path for every accessory. Well, that's neat. Okay, and then there's two, so what can we do with this one? Okay, so this just increases the defense and some other stuff like that. Okay, oh, the log that could be, uh, blown up with the frizz. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so, wow. Okay, that's kind of neat, instead of, uh, gear treadmilling. That's kind of nice. Okay, let's upgrade the Reckless while we're here as well. So a little bit of deafness and... The animations are nice, but, uh... Ooh. Don't need them after a certain point. Okay, so I'll do more grinding in a later date. Don't care too much. Okay, uh... We have new stuff there. I guess we might as well just talk to her. Okay, hearing's about to begin. Let's see, we should get over to the Pinnacle of Peace as soon as possible. 
Let's see, can you do Fistomancy? Not yet. Uh, so there's a character later that does, like, punching attacks that I'm super interested in. Like I said, I'm not terribly interested in uh, resetting uh, the main character's class because I'm never going to be playing as him, so I'd rather just, you know, not have to grind him up. Uh, because, yeah, later on we get this, like, bald dude that's supposed to be able to, like, break rocks and shit. He's going to be the Fistomancer. He's the guy I want to play as. Not this, you know, Nabby Pamby super annoying character. So here he is, the noble king, who stabbed my father in the back. That will be quite enough for now, Prince Cesar. Are we to understand that your attack on harbor was in answer to some wrong committed against your father, the honored king of Dunisia? Well? Yes, your radiance, and I make no apology. The harbors must pay for their crime. This man, their king. This faithless worm <laughs> murdered my father in cold blood. You, you say that I... you believe I would? <laughs> I see that you mean to prolong this shameless charade. But I know the truth of your betrayal. Ten days ago, on the night of his death, I saw you, slithering from his chambers like the snake you are. So you see, when we found this beside his body, it came as no surprise. <gasps> Tell me. Do you deny it now? Do you deny that this is a feather from your magnificent crown? But, but I... I did not! I would not kill your father! I swear it! You dare lie so brazenly to my face! You who claim to be a leader of men! Silence! Oh. <sighs> Prince Cesar, if I understand you correctly, it was ten days ago that your honored father met his unfortunate end? Indeed. Exactly ten days this evening. If that is indeed the case, I can confirm that our friend the King of Harbor cannot possibly be the culprit. What do you mean? Why, that very evening a feast was held to celebrate the founding of Harbor. The king here was kind enough to welcome me as a guest, and he did me the inestimable honor of remaining by my side throughout. But I doubt that even the most cunning of murderers could have stolen away from me, traveled to Dunisia, committed such a crime, and returned unmissed. So, you see, the vengeance you crave is not to be found in harbor. I suspect that rather than it having been the true king of harbor you saw, it was another. One bent on seeing him take the blame for this most despicable of deeds. You mean that I... I have been deceived? That his murderer was... Well, that makes me quite the fool. Quite the gullible fool, indeed. Let a merry dance by my enemies and into all-out war, no less. I take full responsibility for my actions. Your radiance. My life is forfeit. Hmm. Hold on a minute! Hmm? Cesar! How exactly is you getting your stupid head cut off going to solve anything? He's right. And besides, how can you bear to not find out? Don't you want to know who's really behind all this? Hey, come with us. We'll find the real murderer together. Your radiance. Our young friends are correct. The prince must not be punished. What will it benefit us? It cannot bring back that which has been lost. Better that he live, that he seek out and apprehend his father's killer. But he helped eliminate the source of that which led him down the path of war. But, sire... Prince Cesar, let us seek out your father's killer together. There are those who clearly care about you deeply. Do this for them, if not for yourself. Hmm. Hmm. My lord.
<laughs> Forgive me, I accused you of being traitors and I refused to listen when you tried to explain. You have every right to despise me. Oh, relax. The whole mess has been sorted out now. The High Kings pardoned you and the King of Harbor forgave you too. And besides, something awful has ha had to happen to you. You weren't yourself. Still can't imagine who would have done such a thing. About that, we think there might be someone who can tell us more. Wait, really? The crown I wear was presented to me some years ago by the Queen of Ingenia the Eastern, in the Eastern Forests. The Queen of Ingenia? Indeed, the feathers that adorn it can only be found in that kingdom. And even there, there are, they are a rare and precious commodity. What's more, the queen is one of the world's greatest sorceresses. No spell is beyond her powers, not even morph. Right, not even morph. Er, what's that again? Seriously, have you forgotten everything that they ever taught us? It's a spell that lets you look like anything you want. Wow, really? It sounds like it'd be a may. Wait, you don't mean. Of course. The Queen of Virginia is probably the only one that could have gotten that feather and made herself look like the King of Harba. Huh, so my father's murderer was the Sorceress Queen. She will pay for this. Now, now, your highness. It is merely a theory as yet, but it's also the only clue we have, which is why the High King has asked us to go and investigate, discreetly, of course. Let me come with you. If there are clues to the identity of something shit, I keep just tapping the stick and it keeps going on. I hate that, that's so dumb. Anyway, I had a feeling you'd say that. Well, who am I to refuse? Do not forget that you are a king now, my young friend. The fate of thousands now rests on your every word and deed. Take care. I will, your majesty. We better get going. The sooner we get there, the less likely the Ingenians are to find out what we're up to. Cesar joins the party. Alright, so let's see if he's any good. Ugh. Sink back in this chair. Okay, Princely Powerhouse. Cesar wields a greatsword and battles with both strength and sorcery. His Y Fissure Slice can damage even dis distant enemies. His Glacier Strike ability lobs great lumps of ice at foes and temporarily imbues his blade with an icy enchantment for extra damage. There more. The three of us reuni reunited at last, just like old times. There's never been anything we couldn't do when we put our heads together. Huh. Something tells me the problem we face these days are a little less uh, surmountable. Oh, don't be such a misery, Guts. We're ten times stronger than we used to be. Together, we'll be unstoppable. Shulk and Co. learn the art of tag tricks. Tag tricks are special attacks that you can carry out by pressing left trigger to change characters while holding right bumper. These terrific techniques can have some amazing effects, but they also cost a lot of MP, so use them with care. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna switch Ruff out. I don't use him as much, and I could easily use Shulk as a replacement. I guess the one alternative that I possibly have is, oh, hello, plot stuff. Before we set off, I better explain a little about the road to Ingenia. The first thing we need to do is go through the gate here. Obviously, I've arranged it so that we're free to come and go as we like. But that's going to only be an easy... The, uh, that's going to be the only easy part. The path ahead is a dangerous one. There's a reason not many travelers take it. Indeed. The forest is far more dark and dangerous place than the deserts we're used to. We'll need to be properly prepared. You proved in Harba and Tunisia that you know much of battle, my young scholars. But tell me, what do you know of, of the prophecy? The prophecy? The one written in the cathedral window, you mean? The very same. Should ever wicked war resume, a dragon shall the sun consume, and sibling souls born as once before. But, till the land be steeped in blood, may sovereign twins, however good, ne'er hope to rule in peace forevermore. It both reminds us of our vow to never make war again, and the sins of our ancestors. You see, a thousand years ago, our world was ruled by two great kings. They were brothers, twins no less. But a great war broke out, the War of Kings, both brothers perished, and the world was divided into the seven realms we know today. The prophecy is a message from our ancestors. It warns us never to repeat the mistakes of those dark times. It is also a reminder of the two great rulers who ushered in an age of glory, then plunged their worry world into war. So they call it a prophecy, but it's not actually telling the future. It's actually a warning of something? 
or something? Not quite. History has a habit of repeating itself. Should the current wave of suspicion and conflict continue to rise, then there will be another war, and then it won't be a warning anymore. The prophecy will have come true. Indeed. We must do everything in our power to stop it. Your mission to Ingenia is a vital one. Our hopes go with you. I wonder if there's a, uh... I'd love to play a game someday. Well, hello. Where there's, like, the prophecy or whatever. <laughs> we will and then it... And then, like, uh... The players actually managed to, uh... The players actually managed to, like... Completely avoid the prophecy. Like, if you've got a prophecy in a video game, it always comes true. Oh, breakneck bonuses. Experience boosts earned by beating bigger baddies in quick time. Second your party draws their weapons, get slicing and dicing as quickly as possible to get that bonus. Okay. How goes your training? Indeed. Okay, so we learn power throw. How goes your training? Focus. Okay. Always. Let's see. It's a usually good idea to get the make the mains get the most advanced classes as possible. Uh. Okay. So what do we got? Bang. Ooh, I like bang. Coral grief, torn of water, washing away enemies, and bazoom. Well, let's go with bang. Get coral grief. Her emblem awakening. The entire plot is about changing fate. Yeah, but you never avoid the prophecy. Like, the prophecy still comes to pass, sort of. It's interesting that some of these have, like, varying requirements. Oh, that's okay. Let's see, anybody else have anything? For all voc vocations. Yeah, part of the reason why um, I don't want to change vocations yet is because I would actually really like to get the for all vocations upgrades. Even though I guess they're not exactly the most useful. Oh, I don't even know uh, what vocations we have in this game. That's the other problem. Ring of Rune. Sap, Priestess, Reheal. Then again, some of these are actually kind of useful. Okay, uh, Torneco has nothing he can do. Cesar's good. Okay, well, I guess I'll get her at HP for the time being. Let's see, Dodger, high tension for a couple of seconds. But I don't, I don't use her much either. More attention when fired up. Okay, we should probably take a look at the other classes available, though. Okay, slow the gain tension when low on HP. Probably not not the most useful thing, but still. Okay, a little bit of damage. Oh, that was the extent of what he can learn. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, uh, let's see if there's an advanced class guide out already. Because, like, I'm not against it, but we should probably still bring Warrior up first. At, at the very least, so we can get the, um... Uh, at the very least, so we can get some of the all, uh, all profession upgrades. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see if there's a vocation list already. Uh, let's see. Maybe there's a guide somewhere. Okay. Is there a vocation list? Okay, got to the main classes. Unfortunately, I think a lot of these are just going to be super basic, which is unfortunate. Okay. Priest, priestess, wand staves, healing and buffing. Yeah, so unfortunately, it, uh, it's just telling me about the, the basic ones. It doesn't actually tell me about the more advanced classes. Yeah, so I think for the time being, I'm going to to keep with Warrior, uh, just so we don't have to go back and grind. I was thinking we'd, uh, start messing with classes once we have some more magic maps that I can warp back with. Okay, uh, so where are we going? 
Oh. Let's talk to this dwarf. Well, well, well. What have we here? You look like a born fighter. You might even have what it takes to wield one of my beauties. Me, I'm just a humble blacksmith. I teach armorers the tricks of the trade so they can make new weapons and sell in their stores. And it's about time I was on my way. I'm a traveling all around the world, you see, brushing up on the secrets of smithing. If you catch sight of me out on your travels, come and say hello. Right then. I'm off. See you around, lad. Okay. Yeah, I like the class system in this game. I just have never, uh... I, I just have never properly played a Dragon Quest game with too many classes. I, I played nine, but I only vaguely remember them. Holy crap, this map is huge. All right, time to head for Anginia. We'll need to cross the Lumberlands to get there. They're east of here. There's a checkpoint on the way. Once we're past that, we should be within sight of the city. I can help... I can't help worrying the woods are going to be a bit creepy. It's dark even in the daytime under all those trees, isn't it? Well, I for one am itching for a change of scenery after all that running up and down sand dunes. Let's get going. I wouldn't get your hopes up. The monsters of the forest are even worse than those in the desert. Be on your guard. Let's see. Could I switch the costume? No! <laughs> I like the main character's costume. I was a huge fan of... Uh... Dragon Quest 1. I also, uh... Don't ever... Use him, so that's also it. Unfortunately, you can't change the costumes for cutscenes, which makes me a bit sad. Oh, crap. We don't have enough money to... This guy does not have good weapons. Oh! But we might have a pre-order weapon that I can load up. Also, Fissure Slice is pretty awesome. Anything with these mushrooms? Oh, okay, yeah, the mushrooms do explode. Ow. Hammer Hood hurts. Okay, can, can we do some equipment? Oh. Okay. There we go. Oh, all party members. I really wish they wouldn't give me that warning. Okay, let's switch to Maribel. Actually, these guys just have a ton of defense. Oh, even then, Maribel does kind of prove herself to be the strongest party member by far. Okay, so he's got Blood Letter. Let's switch him up to Shadow Blade. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any orbs. I guess I'll just give him the leather orb for the time being. Okay, uh, so let's give her an accessory. Let's give her the slime earrings plus two. A little bit of max HP. Is this slowing? Damage of the blocking? Yeah, let's just go with that. Okay, now that Cesar has got a slightly better thing. Yeah, these guys are tougher. Which is unfortunate, because it really just looks like they have more HP, and that's kind of the extent of it. Ooh, I like the Shadow Blades look, though. That is classic. I like that Fissure Slice, like... Dang! That's effective. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Poison slimes have the goofiest run animation ever. It's like, nye, 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 nye. Okay, so we get 800 EXP. Yeah, so grinding won't be too hard later on. I just, uh, I really don't want to get into the grinding while well, we're still kind of in the early game. Once we know uh, what we can, like, kind of plan ahead for, that'll be better. Main, the main other reason why I, like, specifically don't want to do, like, too much cla class switching and grinding early is just I don't have a whole lot of free time for it, for this game. Um, at least not right now. What's this guy have to say? Dangerous close to travelers? No. Oh. He really won't let me go there. I was, I was going to go fight the hood. Just ignore him. Oh, well. Um, they don't have a whole lot of free time. Oh, yeah, we were just poisoned while we are in here. Well, that sucks. Um, 
But yeah, I just don't have enough free time to, like, waste messing around with uh, every available class. When I could generally more easily come back later once there's a proper guide and then be like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna go with that character class. Plus, we don't even know how many advanced character classes there are in this game. For all we know, there's like none, which would suck. But then again, if there's vocation change, there's probably a bunch. And I'm betting they're gonna require the warrior class anyway. Or at least the ones that I'm probably gonna go for. Priest might not be a bad idea, as goofy as it would be. I should try some of his specials, come to think of it. We haven't tried any of his, like, uh, magic. Oh, that was- that was a new one. Oh! Right! I forgot! Um, Cesar enchants uh, attacks. So that gives Cesar, like, a decent amount of special attacks. I dig it. 